And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Satis Factory. And uh, as you can see, this is an ocean of aluminum scrap setup. There's 22 setups here. Took me to get all of this done, plus the water and all of the routing. It took me about five hours to get all of this set up here. But we have uber amounts of aluminum scrap now. I'm just keep an eye on that little guy down there um, so yeah we have lots of aluminum scrap now now we need to take these 22 setups worth of aluminum scrap that are all coming in over here here it is right here and we need to convert this into aluminum ingots and then finally alclad now You'd think, hey, we have 22 setups. We're going to need a lot of setups for aluminum ingots. No, no, we actually don't. We actually only need roughly six um, aluminum ingot setups because each one of them is going to consume 1,200 a minute of this aluminum scrap. So only six of those is uh, all we're going to need. But we're going to need huge amounts of silica in order to make that work. So one of the things I'd like to do, and I really should have done this, I was gonna do it down here. I was gonna bring all this stuff down and do it down here, but I'd like to actually bring the finished, alclad finished product down here and uh, do, you know, build what I need to build with that. So let me um, quickly-ish try to get some space in here um, I may you know, let's do a quick jump cut here and uh, just to allow me some time to get this platform in place now that I've changed my mind of course uh, it's gonna take me a few minutes to get all this you know get this platform ready to go because we need six foundation or six foundries and roughly eight uh, of the alclad makers so it's really not going to be a whole lot of space. Um, and that's why I kind of thought I would do it below. But uh, we have plenty of space on this second level here. We can pretty easily get it done up there. So let me do a quick jump cut here and we'll come back. All right. Welcome back. And uh, here we go. I've got a little platform here. Now we've got the aluminum scrap right there. Those are all packaged up and ready to go and we have foundries that we're gonna need so we're gonna need basically let's see if we can set this up we're gonna need a unpacker for let's do one for scrap one for silica and then we're gonna need a foundry So, this is going to be aluminum ingot. So, 1,200 a minute aluminum scrap, 700 a minute of silica. That's a lot of silica. And we're going to need, those line up okay? I know they're not exact. Okay, so they're not exact. Uh, we're going to need, again roughly six of these so two three four five six I really wish these could be daisy chained it would be nice if they could uh, let's try to line these up right with the center. I'm hopeful. And one of these, we need to overclock ever so slightly, like 10%, and, that, and that'll do it. Um, but we're going to want to bring in 
the material. So we're going to want to bring in uh, the aluminum scrap and the silica. So one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't really matter since we are going to have a lot of splitters and a lot of bridges over here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So first things first, let's do, we're gonna bring in the silica. And this is just one of my uses of silica. There's, there's many uses. And I'm thinking this is gonna be this is going to be a big use of silica. Um, there's other uses. High-speed connectors are going to use it. Um, I know there's one other. Uh, circuit boards are going to use it. Yeah, high-speed connectors and circuit boards are the other two uses. But those two combined, those two uses combined, there's not going to be as much as what this is going to be. Um, so our other silica is actually way over there. Um, you can barely see right right on the dot there that top belt way out there that's silica from our silica area over there. Um, and I don't even remember uh, how much silica that was behind there. It's been a while. Um, okay, so all of these are going to be the aluminum ingot. I know there are alternate recipes, but I tried to use the recipes that, I don't know, minimize the number of machines that I had to use. So I'll, I'll set all of these up later, maybe between episodes. I just wanted to, uh, let's get some of these splitters in here. So we're gonna do uh, silica. And then scrap. Silica. Scrap. And the silica that I'm producing from the setup behind me, all of these. Um, we're gonna need to route that in and put a merger in here and merge that in. Otherwise it won't be used. So we wanna make sure that merger, and the merger will ensure that we're gonna consume it as, you know, as fast as we're making it. Get rid of all those. There, it gets rid of that ugly seam that was right there. And all those are taken out. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now we need to route the silica on. It shouldn't be too hard. It's just right over here. Um, it's not a lot of production. I mean, we have tons and tons of aluminum scrap compared to how much silica we're using. Um, so these guys, I mean, are producing it and we're, we're packing it back in. We need to then route this stuff around. We're gonna probably do it right in here. So we're gonna go one, two, like so. And then one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and now we need to figure out how we're gonna bring this in. And let's see. If we line this up, do something like this. Um, pull this out. We're going to take this away and this one. 
stretch you in, and then put a merger right in line with that. That will give us our entry point for silica coming in, the, the fresh stuff coming in there, and then over here, this will be the basically the extra stuff that we're making from this process. And that will help, that will help a lot in supplementing our, our silica. Now it's not a whole lot, it's like I think a grand total of something like 1500 or something like that a minute. So not, not a lot. Uh, I'm not going to hook it up just yet. I want to get all of these set up first. Uh, now all of these are not going to need a whole lot of throughput. So what I'm going to do, because these, these machines are kind of wonky, I'm going to attempt to do something like that. So again, the first one is going to be silica. Let's get this one prototyped in. Um, we're not having any ingots, and we're not packing right now. Uh, and we're not raw materials. Or is it silica? I don't see silica is in there. We're going to need this one, definitely, aluminum scrap. Uh, electronics? No. Minerals, I bet. Yep, there it is. So let's hide all these other ones. Okay, so the first one is going to be unpacked silica, and we only need roughly 1,200 a minute. But unpacking more than that is not going to really hurt us. Uh, so this one is going to be unpack aluminum scrap. Okay, silica is only going to be 700 a minute. I, uh, I stand corrected. So we need like 50%. Uh, 55%? Uh, that's going to be 428, actually no, this needs to be roughly 350, 47 percent, yeah. For some reason the number is doubled when you get it up to here. I don't know what shenanigans he did with the recipes, but um, that should get us close to the 700 a minute. So 47% there. This one, this one needs to be 1,200. So I don't, I don't really feel a need to do that because we're going to be limited by the machine itself. So aluminum scrap, that's fine. And that has to be a Mark VI. This one technically only needs to be a Mark V, but we're just going to Mark VI it all the way over. Um, and then power wise, at the very least, these can be daisy chained, like so. Um, and then we're going to have a power pole for those four machines. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you. I don't know why there's like two power connectors on these things. It's kind of weird. Okay, and then we can connect you up and then figure out where power is. There's some power right there. So let's put sort of a bridge pole in here somewhere. You can come over here. Here, you can power these. Okay, those are red because they don't have any recipes set. That's the only reason for that. Um, and these are all Mark IIs because, yeah, we don't, we're not using anywhere close to like 60 a minute. So I could do. OK, 
Okay, so that is going to be making a ton of al or aluminum ingots, 400 a minute. So that's 4, 8, 12, uh, 16, 20. So that's 2,000 a minute right there. So I'm thinking let's just merge three on a side. So there's one on that side, and then we're going to have one over here. So it's going to be a little bit cleaner if we do it this way. Um, and then I don't really know. Oh, see, it's, since it's over 2,000 a minute, I really think we're going to need to pack these in. So one there, one there. Um, and this recipe will be pack of aluminum ingot. And this is going to be 4, 8, 1,200 a minute. So 15 point, how about 12? Twelve per minute. Is that pack of aluminum ingot? Fifteen hundred, fifteen fifty-eight. So twelve should be good. It's amazing that I can get that round number, and we can tweak that if if it's not going to be fast enough. We we can definitely tweak that. Is that backwards? Uh, what? Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, I, I meant to do... Yeah, I meant to do uh, something like this. Pack of aluminum ingot. And then a merger. Uh, right about here. There we go. Like so. Okay. So that is 2400, roughly. Uh, aluminum ingots. Now one of these we have to overclock ever so slightly. So you just have to pick one of these and say like 110%. I mean it doesn't, it's, yeah, it's, the math came out to 6.09375 machines. So, you know, 0.93 is roughly 10%. Uh, roughly 0.1. So 10% overclock will be just fine. Um, so you, and then you, and you, but you need to be a Mark II. So, Mark II, Mark VI. <clears throat> Go. Those are ready there, and I've got a whole bunch of recipe and shenanigans to get to here. Um, so we're going to want that one to come out. I may be able to sneak it in there, but it's not lined up perfectly, unfortunately. Um, and i got a whole bunch of recipes that I've got to work on here. And so let me, let me work on these recipes and get get space and stuff ready for the next step, which is um, actually making the alclad that we need. So we're going to need this aluminum. We're going to have that come out and go over here, which makes me think this could be a little, let's uh, see, I, I, I like how that looks. I like that those are middle and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, and then the alclad is going to be made over here because that Remember, this whole thing over here 
that's using copper. So copper is nearby. I know copper is coming up right over there. So it's less work to bring copper in over here. Um, and so let's get the assemblers ready. Uh, let's go right in here. And I need roughly eight of these, 8.125. Okay, so these are going to be, um, da, 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 da. what would it be under standard? Alclad? So each one of these is 112.5 copper per minute, and we're going to have eight of these. 112.5 times eight is roughly 900, so one line, one 2,000 a minute line is going to be plenty for that. The 300 a minute, that is where we get into issues. So 300 times, uh, what was that, um, 8, well, let's divide it by 8, 300 times 8, 2400. So yeah, it's just over um, how much we need. So like the first one, two, three, four, five machines or so can be can be run off of one, basically one 2,000 a minute belt. And then the last three, I'm going to need another unpacker to unpack the rest of the aluminum ingots. Um, and so these, Alclad, Alclad. And then the first one here, I'm going to slightly overclock 20%. We need it overclocked like 12.5%, but a little bit of shenanigans there. And this is 150 uh, times 8. 1200 a minute of Alclad and again we need 1218.75 per minute so that's why I overclocked this guy a little bit he's not powered up and he doesn't have material which is why he's sort of uh, not telling me what his number is but that's fine uh, let's put in give myself plenty of space no reason to be compressed here. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that is actually perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got an autosave coming in. These are these are brutal right now. Um, all right. So I've got a bunch of recipes and some knickknacks to get done. And that should bring us in to the next episode, which is firing up all this machinery. And uh, one, there's, there's like one more miscellaneous thing that we need to work on, and that is plastic and rubber. Because right now, the petroleum coke that we're using in this setup for all of this aluminum um, is finite because that system shut down because the resin backed up and we're no longer producing any of the resin. So we actually need to start consuming that um, in order to kick that system back on again. Uh, which reminds me, where's this power pole? There's this and you. Thank you. Now all these are powered. Excellent. Uh, okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.